90.3 FM KEXP and streaming online all over the world at KEXP.org. My name is Morgan. I'm down here in the live room, and I am very, very pleased to be joined by Sub Pop's newest family member, Cullen Omori. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having us. Can you play a couple songs? Of course. Red. I have no other way. <laughs> live on KEXP. Is it? 
KEXP, the new album out now called New Misery, out on Sub Pop Records. Welcome to the Seattle family, by the oh, way. thank you, yeah. Part of Sub Pop now. And you played last night at Barboza for uh, Sub Pop's 28th birthday party. How was the show last night? Oh, it was good. It was good. Um, a good Seattle show. I always usually have good Seattle shows, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, keeping up, keeping in line with uh, all the other ones. Um, it was cool. Uh, nice. Yeah. Were there any birthday surprises? Um, not, not for me. I mean, I, I guess like I, I gave a birthday performance for the, for the label. Yeah. You know, you yeah. Gave a present yeah. To really just up. like, <laughs> went, yeah, went awesome. all out. Cool. Yeah. How's the tour going so far? Uh, it's going good. Um, you know, tour is tour. Yeah. And it's another one, another one on the books, you know, cool. just, just, um, yeah, just do it. Just doing it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is your uh, first solo album since Smith Westerns broke up. How has it been different creating a solo album rather than being with a band? Is there a different way that you made the album? Um, yeah, I mean, there's I mean, there's a lot of different ways. I mean, uh, well, one, it feels better. Um, you know, I, I mean, Smith Westerns was cool, but it like felt like being in like a eight year relationship with like your high school girlfriend or something like that. You know, like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, you know, I. For the most part, I mean, uh, almost everything on this record, um, you know, I, I've written or played, performed to a, to a certain degree on it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so this is also kind of like I can make, you know, way more executive decisions on kind of what I wanted to sound like, where I wanted to go. Um, and also I'm not kind of bound by like having to get, you know, any you know amount of people in one room to figure something out. I can just do it myself, which totally. um, is, of course, great. But I guess that at the same time, it's like you don't have someone to censor you. But I think... Uh, I've, at least for this record, um, I think it worked to my advantage, you know? Yeah, it sounds great. Oh, yeah. Did you um, did you lay down all the instrumentation yourself initially, or did you collaborate with people to kind of make the ideas that you had come yeah. to fruition? I um, I wrote, so I had that, like, you know, you write the skeletons of the songs, and I would actually go and demo them out at this guy's house over there, yeah. Adam's house. Um, and then Adam and Matt would sometimes play uh, drums or guitar and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, a lot of it was done kind of um, just in Chicago kind of, you know, over the course of a year and a half or something like that. And then when yeah. I finally went to New York, um, I did, I spent, like, I was the only person in the studio other than when we'd have, like, a day where we'd do some drums and bring one person in or something like that. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, for the most part, uh, it, was, it was very much, like, workshopped in real, you know, close to the chest, not, like, kind of yeah. um, farming out a bunch of different people to play on it, which was cool, you know, Um it's, it was definitely a different experience. And it's also, the whole thing was just done in a way which was so much, I guess, for more or lack of a better word, like unglamorous compared mm -hmm. to um, some of the other records I've done. Or like the last one I was a part of with Smith Westerns was just such a production. Um, and so right, it was like kind you, of, you had a producer assigned to you and Oh, all yeah, that well, I had thing. a producer. You know, it's just like, yeah, this is the, the kind of studios we were going into and the kind of money that was being spent. Um, yeah. It was just, you know. I don't know. This is a little more DIY. Yeah, yeah, or not or not even DIY, just more um I think um 
I guess I was smarter about how I, you know, because I've done it so many times, or I've not done it so many times, but, you know, I'm on, like, my fourth record or something. Yeah. This is the first, fourth time. Yeah. Um, so, like, yeah, I, I mean, I guess there are certain things that, you know, you kind of figure out as you go along, and I and I would hope I'd figured something out um, and learned a little bit, yeah. you know. So, yeah. Cool. What are your uh, what are your influences for this new album? Were, was there something you were listening to at the time that inspired this or a, a feeling or a mood? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I was I was listening to a lot of like um, Roxy music. Uh, I, I mean, my I've been listening to um, Ultravox in the in the car, the same song on repeat yeah. every every single day of this tour. Nice. It's like my anthem. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. rad. Yeah, just just lot, lots lots of that. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, um, uh, the whole the whole record was just um, I don't know a product of like. Uh, I was I did something that was in a band, you know, for mm-hmm. for for a long amount of time, and um, getting out of it, you know, I could either you know go go flip burgers or whatever, or I could make right. some music, and so music seemed like better. yeah, it seemed like maybe <laughs> making music might be better, but yeah. I'm still figuring that out, um, yeah. you know. So cool. uh, yeah, awesome. Well, the record sounds great. It is called New Misery out now. We'd love to hear a couple more songs from it. Oh yeah, we got we got them. We awesome. got them for you. Awesome.
and Omori live on KEXP. He's got one more for us. KEXP, the album New Misery out now. Definitely go pick it up. You will not be disappointed. For all of our Phoenix listeners, he'll be with you tonight, uh, Saturday, April 9th at the Valley Bar. Definitely go out and check him out. Cullen, thank you so much for being here today and playing for us. Thank really you appreciate for it. Us. Yeah. Have a great rest of your tour and definitely come by and see us again. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Keep it tuned right here to the station where the music matters. 90.3 FM, KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.